Dr. Jaffe, one of our customers writes in and asks if you have heard of the CARO method of testing food allergies, and if you would please elaborate on it. Well, there is a fellow named Otis Carroll, um, who was a student of Abrams, um, and this goes back to the 1920s when they were doing very careful observational studies of how foods and environments affected people. So the Otis Carroll Institute has continued his work. It is observational and highly subjective. It takes quite a bit of time to do the assessments because you do them kind of one food, one chemical at a time. And then you don't have the reproducibility of an ex vivo LRA cell culture that we would say is, well, after, after, uh, after the work that uh, Dr. Carroll advocates came the cell cultures of lymphocytes. And then the next generation after that was thymidine, radioactive uh, thymidine incorporation into uh, cells that are dividing. And then came LRA by ELISA ACT, where we look at the first signal that tells the cell to divide, but we're able to see that in a few hours rather than in a few days or a few weeks. And that's at the heart of the precision of the technology is that it's all done in one step by skilled technicians observing the reactions under the microscope. So we know it's lymphocytes and we see them light up. Lighting up means they got phosphorylated by a kinase that also sent signals to the nucleus of the cell saying divide. So it's a very interesting process. We've learned a lot of, about it over the decades, and it's been a privilege to introduce what has become the gold standard of functional immunology, food chemical, delayed allergy testing.